Good afternoon. Welcome to this beautiful day, this great and joyous occasion. Well, Luke and Lauren are happy that, and they're honored that you are here today to celebrate their special day. Uh, they ask that all phones be turned off, put away, so that their photographers can capture the special moments of their wedding ceremony. Thank you.
gives this woman to be married to this man? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you for this beautiful day. What a great day it is. What a great day for a wedding. Father, I, I'm thankful uh, for every person that's here today, every family member, every friend, uh, just everyone that's here to, to witness this joyful day for Luke and Lauren. And I pray for them. I pray, Lord, that you would just bless this marriage. I, bless, I pray, Lord, that you would just bless them and, and allow them to just to truly enjoy this, this whole day. And Lord, we, we thank you for marriage. We thank you for what it is and what it can be. And we thank you for the mystery of it, Father, the beauty of it. And now, Lord, I pray a blessing upon Lauren and Luke. And uh, I pray for this day. For it's in Christ's name we pray. Amen. Maybe see you. On behalf of Lauren and Luke, thank you all for being here today to, to celebrate and, and share this joyous uh, day uh, together with him. Uh, this is a good day. A wedding is a, wedding's a good thing. It was at a wedding where Jesus performed his first recorded miracle. Uh, it's a time when a, a bride and a groom are surrounded by those who are closest to them. Those they love and cherish most, those who love them most. And, and I know uh, Lauren and Luke appreciate all of you who have come to share this special day with them. It's a day they will remember forever. So we're gathered here today in the presence of family, presence of God, and friends and witnesses. Uh, to witnesses, Luke and Lauren are joined together in holy matrimony. Marriage is to be a, a holy and, uh, and sacred union. It is regulated and designed by God. When we enter into a marriage covenant, it's, it's not only a promise and a commitment we make to each other, but it's also a commitment and a promise that we are making to God. A covenant. A promise that for better or worse, for sickness, uh, for health, for good or bad, we are committed to the promise that we have made to each other and also to God. Therefore, we do not take this commitment lightly. In Mark chapter 10, verses 6 through 9, it says, But at the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. For this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife. And the two will become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one. Therefore, what God has joined together, let man not separate. And Jesus was actually uh, speaking to Pharisees who had come to test him uh, on the law and on divorce. And Jesus basically tells them that marriage is more than, than agreement. It's more than a piece of paper. That when you're married, you are, you're no longer two, but you're one. Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verses 9 through 12 says that two are better than one because they have a good return for their work. If one falls down, his friend can help him up, but Pity the man who falls and has no one to help him up. And also, if two lie down together, they will keep warm. But how can one stay warm alone? Though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. A cord of three strands is not easily broken. Luke, Lauren, that, uh, that cord of three is, is both of you and the Lord as you choose to walk with him. God has not designed us to be alone. Proverbs 18.22 says, He who finds uh, a wife, Luke, finds a good thing. In the beginning, God said it was not good that, that man is alone, so he made him a, a helpmate, that they might live together and be a team, and, and that God would also be a part of that team, that cord of three strands that's not easily broken. Solomon wrote in the Song of Psalm, Psalms chapter 3, verse 4 about... Finding the one his heart loved. Finding 
the right one. In chapter 8, he wrote about the seal of love. He said, place me like a seal over your heart, like a seal on your arm, for love is as strong as death. It's jealousy unyielding as the grave. It, it burns like a blazing fire, like a mighty flame. Many waters cannot quench love. Rivers cannot wash it away. If, if one were to give all the wealth of his house for love, it would be utterly scorned. Luke, Lauren, may, may your love for each other be the kind of love that Solomon wrote about. So finally today, we come together to celebrate that love you two share for each other and officially join you together as husband and wife. So Luke, do you solemnly agree before God and these witnesses to take Lauren to be your lawful wedded wife, to love and respect her, honor and cherish her, in sickness and health, in prosperity and in adversity, and leaving all others to keep her, to keep yourself only to her as long as you both shall live. Lauren, do you also solemnly agree before God and these witnesses to take Luke to be your lawful wedded husband, to love and respect him, honor and cherish him, in sickness and health, in prosperity and in adversity, and leaving all others to keep yourself only to him as long as you both shall live. Luke, would you repeat after me? I, Luke, take you, Lauren, to be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death do us part. Lauren, you repeat after me. I, Lauren, take you, Luke, to be my husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death do us part. Do you have rings? The wedding ring is a symbol of eternity. It's an, it's an outward symbol worn on our finger of an inward and spiritual bond which unites two hearts in endless love. And a token of your love and deep desire to be forever united in heart and soul. Luke, you may, <laughs> you may place the ring on Lauren's finger and repeat after me. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love and faithfulness to you. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love and faithfulness to you. At this time, Luke and Lauren have chosen for their unity ceremony to include uh, their siblings, parents, grandparents and other family members to come together and pray for them in a generational prayer.
So today, as we have heard the vows from this couple in front of these witnesses and before God, family and friends, by the authority committed to me as a minister of the gospel, I declare Luke and Lauren are now husband and wife. According to the ordinance of God and the law of the state, what God has joined together, let no person separate. Thank you. 